You've got to fight through some thick brush and woods to get to this one. This one has not had anybody working it in a long, long time. But that just makes it all the more shocking when we came across this because having this be open and not only open, but dry is insane. Dangerously open. Well, that's say. part of the fun, but you can see the quartz around the, the top here or the collar, but we are just staggered that this is open. This is, for this area with all the dirt and all the logging that's going on back here, we're just blown away this is open. These massive beams supporting the collar here. Um, I can see the dog on that one. Hey, can one of you stand next to that, that one on the end just to get a sense of scale? On this. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the size. Look at it for comparison. That was a, essentially a mature tree and he's size. Foot two, and that's a full size Doberman Pinscher. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> look at the size of that beam. That is that's insane. Quick. So there's a concrete foundation up there, which I'm not sure the purpose of. There's a few more beams back here running back to where the waste rock is pulled out. Some odd cuts and divots in the ground like this. It's actually fairly deep. Yeah, maybe a vent shaft or something, but it seems odd that it would be that close to the the main collar. So and then you've got this here, which I normally in Nevada at least I associate this with blacksmithing. You see the, the nails driven to it. And maybe something else here, but that's what I associate it with in Nevada. And here's something of a, a landing here. There may have been a building here where the dog is. And Oh, I'm close enough to that concrete foundation. I'm able to show you that as well. Concrete foundation is right up here. Old, old concrete, obviously. And again, you can see how how thick these woods are. No sign of anybody having been down here and absolute ages so and again just with the dirt we have here the winters i'm just stunned that this is open it blows our mind we were joking oh i forgot to mention this was something that was a massive long shot it was just a really vague reference in one book we saw and nothing else about this mine nothing else about location is not marked on the topo we just sort of had a general description of where it was so it just makes it all the more shocking that we actually found this so i'm impressed like you can probably tell from my gushy enthusiasm making my way down about halfway down see the rail i noticed there which will make it easier to climb out little mini cross cut here that's all quartz in there Something's been rodents or something have been living down here to the nest. And then there's a corresponding cut here as well. Still a lot of quartz here. So mostly quartz. Just looking down, there's a rail down there. Toss a rock down there, it keeps going beyond that. That's uh some kind of plug right there. So hopefully it won't get sticky when I get to that point. Slid down from up there, you can see. Get some more rail on the way down and a lot of material that's slid down over the decades many decades since this closed i've hit it's hard to tell but i actually hit a drift level here there's something going off there i haven't checked yet and then there's something running back here and then behind me looks like looks like that's the end i'll go check but it looks like that's the end so this may have been a sump um since I'm here, I want to investigate this a bit more. I think 
It might end, but I gotta get down lower to see. I'm looking, I'm on my stomach looking back at it. And I think that's the end there, but I'm not certain, so I'm gonna have to crawl back and check. I just squeezed through there. And I can see why the miners ran this drift. Look at that juicy looking quartz there. With all the iron staining. Some over here. And up on top of the of the back of the adit, as the miners call it. More quartz along here. Good news is that this looks like it's running back a lot farther than it appeared from where I first stuck my head in. This is not quartz. In case you can't tell, it's not. Old jug. Somebody's been in here. This goes a lot farther. And I expected. Looks like this caved out right here. See this sort of circular lens here that caved down. Looks like I might have taken a little pocket out there. And we're still going. Interesting how the geology has changed so much. Oh, we're still going. Okay, I got some quartz on my feet. Again, looks like stuff's flaking off the back. There's less quartz, there's some quartz, but there's a lot less of it. Look at that rich blue. Actually, the quartz. It's definitely gotten colorful back here. Uh, oh, nice, nice big slab of quartz. Again, with the iron staining. See the remains of timber support there. More quartz. Well, this is definitely exceeding my expectations. Okay, this might be the end of the line up here. Oh, no, I, man, this really goes. Okay, this is sketch. This is all slabbed off but the drift keeps going so i need you know what this is hard to i'm just gonna crawl over this so i'll pick up on the other side over there i just crawled over that back in some decent quartz and i thought there's more there i thought it might pinch out here but it looks like it may have been a stope or something might even run at the surface because I guess those are, oh, look at the leaves. See the leaves? So, I'm thinking, I don't think I feel any airflow, but oh, maybe I do a little bit. Something's running up there. That's only a few inches high, so I can't crawl that. But look at all this organic matter. So something is punching up to the surface right there. When we get out, I'll have to hunt around see if I can find what is intersecting that. I'm amazed this isn't flooded. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not sure what the purpose of this was either. Uh, maybe it's just been a. I don't know. They're falling a vein up or something. Hard to say. Anyway, I will backtrack to the shaft and we'll try that other drift. I just crawled out of that section where Alex is going now. Back at the shaft here. 
there's this little drift off the side but that's it that's the end right there doesn't go anywhere so now i want to know what's down here so i'll pick up down there finally at the bottom i can actually get a decent look at this now and it's flooded and I, i'm trying to figure out if this is a sump or it levels out and has a drift level taken off the the timber work makes it look like this is a station and there is a drift level but i can't i can't tell for sure to my left is it looks like a, a drift level going that way so i'm gonna check that first and then see if i can figure this out i don't like that slab with all the air gap right there. I have to say that. And I mean, I can't, I can't no matter what, I can't go down this flooded. I can't go into this anyway. I just, I'm trying to figure out if there's more to this or not. So let me check this drift to my left and we'll come back and try and figure this out. I was just sitting there and this is, this is kind of weird back here with that bluish rock back. We've got this retaining wall here or something might have been a stope must have been a stope of something here that's caved and behind me there's just this little notch and that's it so go back and try and dig deeper into this mystery there taking a look at that bottom i just can't tell I, i'm leaning towards this not being a sump but actually continuing it's just a lot of infrastructure down here for a sump but i, I just can't tell the the back it, see it keeps going see the angle keeps following the the line of the shaft and you've got a timber support right there for example it just seems like they were supporting a station here and it kept dropping down but i can't i can't tell for sure and unfortunately we've got nothing for a description so i kind of i saw this when i came over here and i wasn't sure what it was so i just kind of let it percolate through my brain looking at it now it looks like the dash was essentially the dashboard for an old truck. Old, I mean like 1920s, old Model T or something like that. But we'll see what the others think about that. Or maybe you guys in the audience have a different opinion. But well, I'm gonna head back out. Good that's timing. where the good timing. That's the way out. I so, found my keeper. Not sure what this was about, so I'll let uh Jake get down here and see if he's had a different idea, but for me, I think I'm leaning towards this continuing to run. We just climbed back out of the shaft over there and I was trying to find where that drift punched the surface and there's a whole series of pits through there, but this is the most significant one. That's probably 30 feet down. You see the big ledge of quartz. And if you see, there's that little opening there I'm guessing that that runs down to that, that raise we looked up from below. And then it's carved out all the way there. So the quartz must have run out this way. Still not entirely sure why they they made that. Maybe that was an original shaft. Maybe they wanted to drop all this material down and then up the shaft. Hard to say, but obviously there was a lot of quartz here. You see... I'm standing on the sort of waste rocky stuff that was thrown up from when they were digging this out. And actually, now that I'm looking, I see something down there as well. I don't think that goes anywhere though. I'll check just if I'll check just to make sure, and if it does, then we'll throw it in the video. Of it. And yeah, I see the bits of quartz and such. We're gonna head out this way. See if there's anything else after I check that. All right, we are at the next mine of the day. This one was actually marked on the map, and so wasn't a, a big challenge to find it a bit of a challenge to get through the brush but not a challenge to find it. it wasn't a chance discovery like the last one 
This is where the attic was marked. I crawled up there already and it's caved, but you can see this is the outlet for it. Got the rail here. Checked for a date, didn't see any dates on the rail. And standing on the big waste rock pile here. The guy said they found something big over there, so we'll go see what that is. Gotta say, we did not expect to find this. This is... A wonderful thing to find. A wonderful thing to find. Giant yeah. ore bin. We're still just checking it out. This is gold. How's it look? Looking up. Wide open, nothing there. Okay. This, uh... Got all the ore down here, as you can see. That must have value for them to have stockpiled it. So, let's see here. Let's get in position. Oh yeah, it's empty. You see the chute right here in front of me. And then, there's looking back through the guts of it. Really, really not expecting to see this, I gotta say. We've seen two things that are unprecedented for being out in this part of the woods today. Here's a close look at that ore. That's exactly what you're supposed to want to see, the quartz of the iron staining. This is all pancaked down on itself, so. Well, let's see what else is around here. Another view of that structure. We're farting our way down this ravine. There are all these damn blackberries. But I kind of do a loop around, see what else might be here, and then hopefully end up on the back side of that. That's the goal anyway. We just circuited through the woods here. Didn't find anything else, but it's so overgrown. Who knows? This is the back side of that ore bin. It's a, a big ore bin. This is as big as some of the biggest that we see in Nevada. Almost certainly they would have had a trestle. So that the adit was over there, they would have had a trestle running out and then in or even directly from there. One way or another, they would have had a trestle here, dumping it in the top. Oh, there's my buddy right there to give you some perspective on the size of this bin. That's a big bin. Really, I'm really impressed to see this out here. These are really unusual finds for this part of the Sierras. All right, we just found the shaft at this mine. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that ore bin is right there. That's the outline of the ore bin. And I'm up on that ledge you pointed out before of waste rock. And this where the shaft was. Hopefully you can forgive us for not going in that one. You can see, uh, maybe you can't see, but see those big boards right there? Part of the head frame or collar. This was supposed to be just a 125 foot shaft. You see those boards yet? I'm probably standing on a bunch of them as well. Anyway, this, oh, there's more up there too. Anyway, this is just supposed to be a 125 foot shaft right here. And then the miners kind of killed it because they put this, this dam here. And after a hundred years of the water flowing down and then hitting the dam and then backing up behind it with silt and debris and things like that, well, that's what's left. So, well, that's good. That was the last thing we, we weren't sure about here. That heavy breathing is not me. That's the, uh, the dog I'm giving a ride to through the blackberries and brush. But sun's getting low in the sky, so it's time for us to start making our way out of here. The just to put this in perspective, the okay, you see where the black dog's coming from? The add it was just over there. So add it back there, which didn't look too big, and then shaft here, but. Judging the size of that ore bin, I wouldn't be surprised if that shaft was bigger than what was described in the record book, because 125 feet for an ore bin like that doesn't quite fit, does it? All right, 
get on with it. Heading out to the mine, and as luck would have it, we don't have our chainsaw with us today. And this is the only section, that goes for about 50 feet, that's a mess. The road is flawless behind us, and it's beautiful ahead of us. We walked up on the hill and checked. Just one section, so. Unfortunately, that means we're hiking the rest of the way in. This is kind of interesting. We're heading out to the mine on this very old rail bed. You can see all the tracks and even the, the bed itself are long gone, but this cut along the banks, you can still see, because obviously miners and loggers wouldn't have cut down this deep to make this perfectly level road. So interesting to see the remnants of that along here. Still following this old rail bed through here, and as further confirmation of the history here, that's an old railroad spike, or rail spike. Pretty cool. And we're carrying on that way through this devastated landscape from the forest fire. Still making our way down this old railroad line, and as further extremely convincing evidence of this being an old railroad we just dug up this piece of track right here saw the edge of it sticking out we're curious about it so we we pulled it out that's my my boot next to you can see it's full size rail took a brief look at it didn't see any embossed dates or anything like that but that is full size rail so it's gonna be fun walking out of here we don't usually get roads that are this nice so we've thoroughly enjoyed the walk in on the soft dirt and the very level ground. It'd be nice coming out too. We made our way in and actually just dropped down this cliff here. We found one at it up there. It was caved or eroded shut. There was a drain pipe, a very old riveted drain pipe coming out the bottom with that classic mine mud. And then down here, obviously is where the mill was. You can see some of the stone foundations. That's my buddy's gear. Lots of metal scraps all over the place. Pretty sure a landslide slid down the front there and took out a good section of stuff and then the forest fire that came through here took care of most of the wood. You can see some of the Components of the mill down on the wash, sale the crushed quartz too. Again, more of the remains of the mill. More stacked rock and lots of metal down there. There's a landing down there. We're gonna check this stuff out more carefully. I just want to give you an initial look at what we're working with. And there's a, a trail running out that way we need to follow as well. Jake just found this impressive quartz crystal poking around. Looks like a piece of ice. That's cool. Thanks for showing that. Pipe coming out of the stone foundation there. And then he said there are a bunch of timbers and the remains of a grizzly up here. So let's climb up and look at that. Oh yeah, there are the timbers, you can still see the bolts in them. And yeah, it looks like the remains of a grizzly there. Lots of metal mixed in with the blackberries. And again, that's where we came down from. Let's well, start following that trail down and it almost immediately petered out. And so I'm thinking it was probably just to get down to this stuff down here, some of which is in front of me. All riveted. It's old. Looks like possible cyanide tank right there. I'm gonna uh, make my way down to where Jake is and show you some more stuff down there. I was filming from there a minute ago there's a lot here that we keep noticing. There's a old tobacco tin right there, carbide can, and it looks like a wash tub there. 
Oh, I didn't even see that before. I'm not sure what they would have used that for. Ah, uh, there's a hopper down there? Yeah. Hopper down there. I'm gonna push on and keep looking around. I was shooting up there before. That's the hopper there. I'm down that landing where Jake was or is. More pipe running down. It's a really solid rock wall there. I don't know if somebody dug that out or if that's starting to go, but here's a view of the rock wall. Would have been a lot of work putting that in. There's a huge stump right there. Probably hear the river in the background. Looks like there might be even more stuff down below. Uh, looks like there's another flat spot down there. That landing I'm just checking out was right there. Climbed up the hill a little bit. We've already looked over there. Just want to show you a few interesting things here. There's something I haven't seen before, which is this cemented quartz right here. That's all broken up quartz. That's not natural like you see with the placer mines. So I don't know if that's tailings that got mixed in with the quartz and just conglomerated like that, or if they were intentionally using busted up quartz waste rock as a foundation for something. It's a thing. Lots of water pipes down here as well. And again, that's a way we have to climb up. It's a lot steeper than it looks. Is that a footing? Yeah, you can adjust. Ah. The height. That makes sense. It's probably a little hard to tell, but the mill is down there. And I was looking around, came over here and noticed this huge waste rock pile here and waste rocks ought to come from somewhere so scrambled up the hill here and sure enough there's an at it that's my pack in front of it I'll show you that in a minute there's a lot of metal bits and wood up here Looks like there's a trail that ran. That might actually be the original road down because if you look, there's a stone wall built up there and this runs out. They might have had a trestle here that brought ore directly to the mill. It would come out and then drop the ore in the mill there and the waste rock could have gone straight out like this. So just looking around real quick. There's, like I said, a bunch of metal scraps here. See that pipe there with a the wire wrapped on it? More pipe over there. A lot of metal. Inside the portal now, and you can see the mud has filled in to within about three, two or three feet of the top. Looking back, it does run. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. But the mud just gets higher and higher. There's these mud dams and this weird aquatic grass growing in it farther back. Doesn't make me too optimistic about conditions farther back, and especially when I can see any artifacts or anything. But oh, this is tempting. All right, we're sizing up this. Oh, okay, it goes all the way through. Oh, wow. Whoa. So there's this weird mat of mud and roots sitting over a cavity. And you can see where Jake just punched a hole in it. And you see all the water's draining down there. We don't really want to fall down that. It is all roots. There's live roots in there. Wow. But they can't go that far back. I mean... No, it's got... I'm, I'm wondering if it just turns to straight mud after... Or open water yeah. back there. Can you tell from there? Actually, I just see shit sticking out of the water. Roots and stuff. Really? I've never seen a mine environment like this before. Can you see it? Yeah, that is so bizarre. I don't know where this water's going. 
a lot of water is moving through there. Yeah. So we're using that stick and that stick is the height of our waders and we're bottoming out the stick where he's standing and it gets even deeper after that, which that's a problem. So we're trying to do some draining work. Let's see if we can make any progress with this. We have some trepidation, but we're going for it. We've got the waders on and we're a little... The ground's a lot less solid all of a sudden. Okay. Where he is right now is our area of concern. So he's trying to improve that section. And then as soon as he gets through there, I'll catch up to him. But I don't think, if you look what he's doing, there's no way I can film and crawl. So I have to put everything away until I get past that section. So I'll pick up somewhere up there. All right, we've pushed in about a hundred feet and it's, this is just brutal. We're, uh, I can't even lift my head right now. I'm actually looking down at the screen without being able to straighten my head out because we're so close to the, he's in a little pocket that lets you get up out of uh, a little bit, but. It's like squatting nonstop. Yeah. Just walk, squat walking the entire way and the mud has not changed its depth from about halfway up your calf. I mean, the the attic is much, much deeper than that, but the mud is solid enough that we're, we're walking on top of it, but... And it, there's no end in sight for this ceiling height. Yeah, um, it just... Uh, I don't see it getting any shallower. But it does look like there's a fork, maybe. Oh, really? This is just... This is exhausting. We are exhausted just from how far we've come so far. And I would keep going, but we're losing the root mass and I'm starting to sink a little deeper. Yeah. So this is probably just going to come straight mud. And if it comes straight mud, it's over the waders. Exactly, exactly. And uh, getting out might be a challenge. Yeah, if we sink into the mud that deep, it will be a challenge. That happened to me once at a mine. I had to have somebody hold me out. Unfortunately, this one might have to keep it secret. So there's no way to dig it out with all that rock. No, nah, those are giant rocks. Well, that's frustrating. Yeah. Thin pool float. Lie in our <laughs> bellies. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, if the water was an inch deeper on the top of the mud, I'd say we could do that, but the mud would slow us down. Exactly, we'd get hung up on it. The open at it is right there. Just looking around a little bit more. There's a lot of stuff out here. Bits of metal here and there. Old cork top okay. bottle right there. Yours. A piece of a frog. Oh wow. That's and a piece of rail. More drill steel. Some drill steel. Specifically that's a frog. You see the the pin sticking down there? They call it a frog because you can well, I don't know why they call it a frog, but you can uh, you shift the rail around. A lot of stuff under where this rock wall fell. Drill steel. Where he's looking right now, there was a rock wall that fell here. And it fell recently too. You can see that big boulder there. You see the exposed line on it. That would have been perched up on the other. It probably would have had a platform going out here of rock. More rail. Oh, more rail, yeah. And this uh, airline is wide. Junction. Oh, interesting. This old drill steel. Yeah. Hole. No hole? No hole. No hole in the drill steel. That is old. Wow. I wonder if there wasn't a little structure on this outcropping. Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Yeah, that would make sense. In case you didn't hear what he said, he was speculating that there was a tool shed or something here, just given all the equipment. And it looks like, they, like I said, they had a platform here, so it makes sense they had a tool shed. You see it's built up. That was a lot of stuff there. Yeah, that would make sense. Spikes. Spikes, yeah. Yeah, like I said, there's a whole ledge built up here. It would make sense to have a, a workshop here. 
bring the ore cars in. That actually would explain the frog too. You could have brought the ore cars in here to work on. Waste lock would have gone out that way. And then the mill is that way. And given the apparent size of this at it, that makes sense. You see the waste rock pile extends way down there. So if you look at the end of that drill steel, you'll see it does not have a hole in the end of it. So check that, the back end to make sure it's not smushed. Yeah. Nope. That very clearly dates it. So that's the kind of drilling. You know, people in the videos are always saying, oh, we're a match for the mine dust. And I, I'm always correcting them. It's not mine dust, it's water vapor because water is getting injected through that hole at the end of the drill. But this, this is the type of drill that would cause dust and would cause silicosis. I sure am glad we didn't have to go through this to get to the mine because we would have said no way. That's horrendous. This is the railroad or fallen out or the remains of the railroad falling out but taking a break on the way out and just man that's horrendous can't imagine what this looked like before the fire so this is the view four years after the nuclear war not much left <laughs> 